Okay, yo, my dude, so we're going to talk about uh, if you can't get videos to play. Sometimes you click on something, especially you made something with FFmpeg, and uh, um, it just won't play. You get like, it says codec ain't supported, or you can hear the volume, and but the screen is dark. So we're going to fix that right now. It's real easy, okay? But before you do that, please go ahead and like the channel. It really helps push them numbers. You can share the vid if you like to because you help in the community you want to be a helpful person don't you you are a helpful person so thank you very much so let's go on and look at this now we get um videos they're going to pop up like this so you can hear the um oh you can hear the sound so if you must go, if you must go. okay but notice there ain't nothing <laughs> There ain't no picture, okay? So that um, has to do with a codec issue. So just really quickly, without going too in depth, it a codec is basically the translation so that your computer knows how to take videos and turn it into a signal for your monitor. Okay, so it's like if it doesn't know how to translate it, it ain't going to translate it. Uh, it's just going to give you a black screen. Real simple solution. Okay, what we're going to do? We're going to rock on over to our internet here. Okay, and we're going to do this. Do. Okay, so from the internet, all you got to do is this. Real easy, okay? You type K, light, L-I-T-E, and then you type the word, whoops, gosh, if I could spell it, it should be nice. K-I-L-T-E, codec. All right? Then you're going to come up here. It says download k -like codec pack. Just hit this standard, okay? Now, there's a whole lot of stuff in here that you just ain't going to use. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of times what happens is we get this kind of stuff and because we don't know we're like well let's just install it and, and we drill down into the settings and we just get stuff that we don't need and at the end of the day it could end up messing up stuff but you certainly unless you know you need the stuff you don't need it okay um now we're going to download it but check this out see this download button here this is a scam so a lot of these sites i don't know why k -Lite would have this but uh if you click it it's going to try to download a different software not your k -Lite. Stuff got flat buzzing around my face there. Okay, so we're going to scroll down here to where it says server. Okay, we're just going to click server one, and what it's going to do is bring up your save window. Okay, you can't see it on my screen, but you just save it. Okay, then you're going to go, you're going to double click on it to open it up. Okay, it's going to pop up this bad boy. Now, again, here, we're just going to go normal. Don't worry about getting everything in here, uh, that's in here. We don't real. we don't need it. Okay, now. Preferred video player is going to pop up as Media Player Classic. This is great. This is actually pretty cool because this Media Player Classic, it plays a lot of different stuff that others don't. So, like, sometimes if you're trying to play things with your Windows Media Player normal, it won't play for whatever reason. It'll play in your Media Player Classic. Also, it's streamlined, so it doesn't have all the bloatware, which I think one of the main reasons they put this on. It's real nice. Then preferred audio player, I'm just going to go ahead and click Media Player Classic as well, okay? Who cares? You don't have to put in nothing if you want. Um, okay, we're going to leave everything else the same. We're just going to click Next. We're going to click Next. We're going to click Next again and again and even again and another one time until we get to install. Then we're going to go Boom, okay? It's going to install that bad boy. We're waiting for it to install. Do, do, do. Okay, and there we go. You don't need to run any of this codec tweak tool. You don't need to open the Windows defaults in. All you need to do is hit finish. And now when we go hit our video, you're going to notice that. Oh, hold on just a second. It's now playing. <laughs> and this was a funny video I was making using our rope software to make fun of a friend of mine. So you can always get that software too. Um, so that's how you install your k -Lite codecs. If the videos ain't running, you just go to the internet, you type in k -Lite codec, okay? Click the standard, scroll on down to where it says server, click it, install it, and then your videos are going to run just shiny as the day okay so if you have any questions hit me up on discord uh happy to help you out there as usual you stay good and yo we gonna catch you on the other side